What's going on everybody? Today we are going to be helping out Lando here, right over here, Banano. We are going to be calling him Potato though, because his Discord name is Potato, so I'm going to call him Potato. Anyways, he's a brand new player, as you can see he's level 2, the only reason he's level 2 is because he claimed the outpost and he shot a coyote with a pistol on the way over here, because it got stuck on a tree. Um, so he's very new, as you can see, looks a bit clueless. And I just got him set up with my loadout here. Um, so he has the 300, the 308, 243, and the Virant 22. Got him all set up here. He's at his first outpost. We are on his map. And he's yet to do anything. So his entire map is unexplored. He's just sitting there, clueless, staring off into the distance. Um, absolutely no idea what to do. Say hi, Potato. Hello. All right, Potato's brand, brand new to the game. We are going to be explaining the game to him. Um, in a multiple part series and eventually hopefully he'll be better than me. So um, Lando you don't have to go in there. There's just a bed in there. You don't need to worry about that First things right. first though animals tons of animals in the game um, They have a scoring system that allows you to basically know how big they are so they you get trophy levels for different animals. So like bronze, yep. obviously is the lowest. Silver, gold, diamond, and then great one. Ignore great one for now. That'll come way in the future. So diamond is the main trophy you want to get in this game. That is the biggest thing you are always going for is a diamond scoring animal. Um, let's start walking down here. Um, but the main thing you need to know is always carry your binoculars out with you. Have them out so that you can spot animals. When you spot animals, it gives you a certain amount of knowledge, like it'll tell you its stats. Um, you can't see all the stats though until you level up your skills and your perks. If you open your inventory as you're running, um, you can see, or you, you just stop right here real quick. Open your inventory, you can see skills and perks. So if you open your inventory and you click on the skills tab, you can kind of hover over them and you can kind of see that they all have different things. You get perk and skill points as you level up. You will not be able to have max um, perks or max skills, so you have to choose wisely which ones you want. I will guide you through which ones to pick, okay? Wait, so those wait, wait, all wait. give you different abilities. Wait, where do I see it? Uh, if you hit if you hit escape and then go to skills or perks. Oh, yep, yeah, all right. All right, I see so you it, can, I see you can hover over the different ones and start reading them just to kind of get an, an idea of what they do. I have one skill point. Okay, one skill point. Stuck that, stick that into locate tracks. Your locate right. tracks, part one. There you go. That's one out of three. You need to get that maxed out. But yeah, so that those give you all different abilities and improvements on your stats. Anyways, start coming this way. We need to find an animal to spot for you. Um, to find any. Oh, there we go. So we got some whitetail drinking right up ahead. That's actually perfect. They're all tiny though. That is actually crazy. They are all t three level ones. What is going on? It's also a moose over there. Ignore that. Hey, take your rifle up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Put your rifle away. Stop, stop moving. My fault, my Pull fault, out your binoculars, hover over them, and spot them. I, I found one, but like, that's it. Keep spotting. Start spotting them. You can... Uh, wait, you see I, I'll zoom Look. in. Oh, wait, oh, wait, yeah, 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 yeah. So, see that? Okay, now, if you spot one, it, what information does it tell you on the top? Um, one? it Like, gender, whether or not they're drinking, and then, oh, wait, the level, like, trivial... Okay, Minor. so yeah, I have a lot more stuff on mine, but that's because I have a lot more perks. So, the biggest thing you want to know is Whitetail max out at level 3. When they're level 3, they have a chance at being Diamond, which is massive, super insane. You will rarely find level 3s ever. So, right now, you see at level 2, find a level 2, or I just spotted it, but yeah. spot him with your binoculars. Yeah. I Those are all level 1, spot to level 2 right there on the left that I just spotted. Oh, there's level 2 right there too. Oh, which one's bigger? Actually... Uh, the one on the right's bigger, but the one on the left is going to give you a better shot. So follow me this way a little bit. Okay, now don't sprint. Start walking. Walking normally, okay? They can, they can hit us from here? Hit caps. Hit caps lock. Don't sprint. Start walking. Oh. Just start. Just walk normally. Perfect. We're going to work our way through these trees. Um, So that level is huge. You always want to spot an animal to know its level before shooting it. Um, Keep walking my way. I will get you to where we need to go. Now, the level, crouch right here, hit um, left control, and we're gonna crouch walk. Now you can hit caps again, and that'll allow you to speed, um, to kind of sprint crouch, I guess. If you hit caps, you can kind of see a different speed. Oh, there you go. All right, um, there we go. Now, 
The biggest thing about spotting animals so you know how big it is. So you always want to be taking the biggest one that you see because it gets more money, more XP, and obviously the chance of you getting a trophy animal. Trophy animals are going to be diamonds. Um, golds are nothing special. Um, so diamonds are going to be your main thing that you're going for. When you get a diamond, um, I know you saw that little taxidermatize button on the uh, on that coyote you shot earlier. Oh, that yeah, yeah. allows you to save it. Basically, it spends money to save it, and you can put it in your trophy lodge. That's where you show off all your trophies. That's how you basically keep track of your trophies. Anyways, let's see, where are these guys at? Okay, they're going to be in front of us to our left. So, basically, we need to slide up here and get an angle on one of these guys for you to shoot. Okay. You know what? Where There's are a level you? one. I'm right here. Oh. Come on over here. Um, you so, we're going to get a shot on this guy for you. All right, but... Let's try and find the one to shoot, though. Just give me a second. Let's try and pick a decent one. Uh, you know, just level one should be fine for you right now. Okay, so come to me. Now, what I want you to do is pull out your 308 Moonlight. Your Zarza 308 Moonlight. Yep. Okay. Now, hover, and I will spot him for you. Shoot him right in the side. Kind of near, not near the front entirely, but kind of right in the middle, right in the lungs. If you see where his front right. leg comes up, uh, also, yeah, if you yeah, hit yeah. shift, it holds your breath for you. All right. I'm just, wait, will you spot him one more time? Yep. There you go. Let's see. Did you get him? You did not. Unfortunate. Oh, no. Okay. There's still another one. I don't know why he's calm, but there's a calm one that's traveling. So, you're going to want to shoot right in his into his side. Perfect. Okay, hang on. He's running away. Give me a second. Okay, I alerted him. So, come up to me and... Actually, just stay right there. That's perfect. So, that guy right there. Can you get a shot into his side if possible? The one I just spotted. Nice. Uh, perfect. Yeah, That's a good it. shot. That's a good shot. Okay, now, we are in multiplayer. and Oh, there's a turkey. We are in multiplayer. And um, in multiplayer, it's kind of weird because we have a high ping difference. So, sometimes the animals will just freeze. Um, which isn't great for you learning, but it's it's fine. That's why when you shot the first one, the other ones didn't all run away right away. Because we're in multiplayer and they kind of act weird. Anyways, let me go and claim this first one and kind of see where you hit. And then I will kind of show you. Ooh, I heard a bear. They're just black bears. They won't attack us. There's nothing on this map that will attack us except for moose. But let me claim him and see where you hit him. Okay, that's a perfect shot. Now, when you claim him, I want you to um, hit right click. Claim him and then hit right click. And do you see oh, yeah. the stats, like where you hit him, like all the red markings? Yeah, yeah. I... Okay. Oh wait, oh wait, where it's red, that's where I hit him. That's where you hit him. Those those organs. Now, if you see the big organ that you hit first, that big old kind of yeah. roundish thing, that's, that's the lung. lung. You want to yeah. always aim for lungs. So if you turn him and move him sideways, you can see where you need to shoot on him to hit his lungs. So that's where oh, yeah, on the yeah. first guy that was perfectly broadside, that's where you need to shoot, basically right above his leg is where you need to shoot, right above and behind his shoulder. That's right. where you want to shoot to hit the lungs. So I'm not sure where you shot on the first guy, but um, you can fully claim him now. So you always want to go for lung shots. Got Perfect. It. Now, um, for Thank animals, the reason I told you to pick up that specific weapon, in order to get full score out of an animal, you have to do a series of things. There's four check marks that you need in order to be able to get full score out of an animal. Meaning, if you see a diamond animal, and you do one of these things wrong, it will not score diamonds, so you will mess up your trophy. These four things are, you must shoot it two times or less. So if you mess up the shot, you're allowed to shoot it one more time. You're allowed to shoot an animal two times. You are not allowed to shoot him in the head. If you shoot him in the head, they will be messed up. You have to hit a vital organ, meaning you have to hit either lungs, liver, neck, or heart. Those are your vitals. Um, brain is also vital, but then you damage the head. So... Those are three things. And then the fourth thing is you have to use the proper ammo type. If you hold middle mouse click and hover over your Zarza 308, you can see recommended classes four, five, six, seven, and eight. Whitetail are a class four. So you want to shoot them with the 308 because that is the class that it's allowed to shoot. That is the proper Wait. ammo for that weapon or for what that animal. Where does it say that? Am if I you hover, or? if you hover over, it'll say recommended classes, accuracy, recoil, reload, speed, hit shot, magazine size. And if you go all the way down, recommended classes. Oh wait, yeah, yeah, four, three, four, three. All right, I see it, yeah. I see so it. four, three. So now, if you go to the Ranger two, four, three, you can see it goes from classes two to six. 
Now, the reason I had you shoot it with the 308 instead of the 243 is the 243 can also shoot class 4, which are what Whitetail are. But the 308 is a lot bigger of a caliber, so it allows you to get a lot more penetration and kill them a lot faster. So you always want to shoot them with the biggest weapon possible. Um, but if you shoot, if you hover over the 300, you can see it's classes 7 through 9. Whitetail are class 4, so you do not want to shoot them with the 300. All right, work your way towards me now. Oh, okay, hang on. We have an elk. We have an elk, a female elk. So crouch, crouch, crouch. Crouch. Oh. <laughs> Yo, my fault. Wait, sh should I just, should I don't, just unbound that? Don't, no, no, it's fine. It's, it's, it's a good tool to use every once in a while. I said crouch and you whistled. You hit X. Okay, so there's a calm female rose of an elk right in front of us. You see her? So you're gonna yeah. want to use your Arisna 300 mag. So what do you have out? That's your that's your 308. So grab your big weapon, because um, these guys are a class seven. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna crouch. Follow me. We're gonna go forward a little bit more, okay? So crouch, and we need to go across over this ridge, and then you're gonna want to shoot right behind that shoulder, just basically right in the middle where you saw the lungs were, okay? So uh. that's where you're gonna want to hit, and when you hold your breath. You can only hold your breath before... Oh, actually, I should probably explain the bottom right to you. Bottom right, see the compass, how it spins when you move? Yeah. You know what that little green thing is? Nope. Wind direction. So that we have good wind. They cannot smell us right now because the wind's blowing southwest. Um, the little heartbeat right there is how fast your heart's moving. If you're fast, if your heartbeat is moving really fast, you're going to be... It's going to be very hard for you to hold the um, gun skill. The gun still to take a shot. Oh, they... Oh, it's the mating call. We're fine. Um, and then the little circle dot looking thing to the right of the heart is how visible you are. And then obviously the sound bar is how much sound you're making. So, okay. Stop right there. Wait. Right there. That's good. Now, what I want you to do is, I'm just saying that real quick. See that one that I spotted right there? Right in the middle. Oh, yeah. yeah okay. In the middle. So I want you to grab your 300 out. Yep. Now, when you hold your breath, you only have a small amount of time before you run out of breath, and then your weapon goes crazy. So, try and aim right behind that, sh right, basically right in that crease of the shoulder. After you hold your breath, that'll stabilize your aim. You got her. Perfect. Now, they're being weird since it's multiplayer. Um, obviously, they're not spooked, so take another one out. Take the one to the left of her out as well. Hit in the same spot. Uh, you didn't get her. Oh, you got the one to the right. Perfect. Get the one to the left now. All right, perfect. Now that's that's good. We'll spook him off now. Right. Uh, I've been playing for a long time. Moose drink. For, oh, actually, uh, that shows her right there. Look to the left. Look to the left. Stop moving real quick. If you look, see them. See the moose. Look at them all. Yeah. But it so doesn't. spot them. Zoom in and spot them with your binoculars if you can. Do you see them? There you go. There's one to the right. right too. So moose drink from 12 to 16. So it's moose drinking time right now. So we would be hunting moose. Now, moose are class 8. So which weapon would you use for? Uh, Arisna. Yep, okay. So crouch real quick. I'm going to want you to shoot that male to the left that I just spotted. The last one I spotted, right there. That last guy. Try and hit in the same exact same spot that you would normally hit on him. Wait, wait, hold on. Like, With your Arisna 300. Part. This one? Yeah, that one. Wait. All right. Yeah. So I'm gonna want you to hit basically right at that shoulder. Don't aim too low. You still want to aim pretty high. Not not high, but you know, right where those lungs are. Big old lungs. If you can. Oh wait, I can zoom in. Yeah, you can zoom in. Let's see, did you get it? You did. The oh, you did. You got it. All right, come on. Good. That's a good shot. So I can see his health dropping because I have perks and stuff, but let's, I'm going to teach you how to track now. So I will see you guys when we get him over here to track. Okay, now time to explain to you the purple stuff on the map. So the purple stuff, see if you, we'll explain that to you as you come over here. First, come over here. This right here is your blood splatter. This is a vital blood splatter, meaning you got a vital organ hit, which is good. That means the first step of your four steps is completed for getting a good animal. Now, you gotta track it. So you hit that. You see the other track right here, this glowing, with the color. Yeah. That's the next one. So you want to follow oh. this track. I'll let you follow it, and I'll walk behind you till this thing dies. Now moose are a lot bigger, so obviously you're not gonna get as much penetration. So you probably only got a single lung. Now let me pick this guy up first. I'm assuming you can see his outline now. Let me pick him first. Um, oh, yeah. Pick him up first. So 
that I can check and see where you hit real quick. And that's a perfect shot. Dead on accurate. So you only got a single lung, um, obviously because they're a bigger animal, so a lot harder to get, but... Alright, so I just accept? Yeah, you can just accept. There you go. That's a nice single lung shot. It's a perfect shot. There you go. So now the purple. See how there's a bunch of purple on the map where we've been? Or all the pink yeah. and purple. So that yeah. is basically where an animal dies. So when an animal dies, that's called hunting pressure. When an animal dies, that ring will appear when the animal drops, like when it's fully dead. The middle of that ring is going to be where you originally shot the animal. So you'll be able to find the blood, the starting point for the blood, right in the middle, roughly in the middle of that purple area. That purple area is hunting pressure. The higher that is, the less animals want to go to that area. Now, what we have in the top right one, see how it's really bright? That's stage three yeah. hunting pressure. Meaning, if you shoot one more animal there, that little need zone for the elk, Roosevelt elk, will disappear. They will no longer go there. When you shoot four animals in one zone, it deletes the zone. They will no longer go to that spot until the hunting pressure is cleared. You clear hunting pressure by shooting animals in a different area. So basically, the hunting pressure just disperses evenly throughout the map. So oh, if okay. you go and shoot stuff in a different area, this honey pressure will slowly disappear while that honey pressure will build up. Basically, right. don't shoot more than four animals in one small area or else those zones will get deleted. Um, the zones will come back when the honey pressure is cleared in a general area. But if you don't want to delete your zones, I mean, you want the animals to still come back to that spot next time, um, don't shoot more than four animals at one spot. Also, the overlap can also happen. All right, let's go to a new spot now. How much money do you have now? I have five six grand six grand all right perfect you are getting money so fast so what i'm gonna do is actually you know what let's head and grab you this outpost we have, we're right next to an outpost that you have not yet grabbed so we're gonna grab this outpost we're gonna go get you to shoot one more one or two more moose and then i will end this part of the video and we will record part number two but part one um you have done so good with so far we have gotten you a, you haven't missed a shot actually you missed your first shot but then you're good from there so right now what level are you level three still we need to get you to yeah. level, I believe, 12 before you can get your next scope. Um, and then wow. level 30 is when you can get the really good binoculars. You, uh, level 60 is max level. If you hold I, you can see the level of people. But Grab that, and then I will see you guys when we get over to this lake to see if there's any moose there. I don't remember if moose drink there or not. Wait. The glowy I disappears, correct? I, oh, wait, yeah. Okay, yeah, so hit you again. Um, anytime you accidentally, like, start spotting animals, there's no outlines, and you can't find any tracks, you probably had accidentally hit you at one point. So hitting you turns on all hints and stuff again. It's very hard to play the game without, um, having that on. Also, if you hit H, you put your weapon away in your binoculars, then you don't really know how to get them back out. You can switch weapons and binoculars and stuff. Switch weapons with your, um, well, no, like, you hit H and hold your scroll wheel and select something, it won't actually pull out. So if you ever are struggling oh. to, like your, sometimes your weapons will randomly get put away. You just have to hit H a couple times until they come back. So that's just another glitch that happens. Well, anyways, I think that is gonna do for episode one. Episode two, we are gonna start with my trophy lodge. I will show him some trophies and he will actually get to see kind of what the point of the game is and what you're actually going for. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, let me know in the comments if you want to see more videos like this. If you guys did enjoy it, please be sure to drop a like down below. It's the best thing you can do to support me. If you are new around here, please be sure to subscribe. Turn on post notifications. I release a brand new video every single day. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a nice day and see ya.